Hey, Mike Healy here. Good morning to you and uh, or whatever it is now because I'm obviously doing this live. Just got out of the gym again. You know, a lot of uh, I do a lot of these Facebook lives, just kind of throwing it out there. Kind of keeps me try to be consistent with these, and then I usually put them on my YouTube channel. So wherever you're watching this, hello. Um, if you don't, if you want, make comments in my YouTube channel. Make comments on my Facebook page. Uh, you know, things like that. It's kind of cool to put that out there. But uh, uh, the um, topic I had is why you're not hit. I think it's. I think I just remember what I wrote down. Why you're not hitting your goals and what to do about them. Okay, so in and, and this has to do with any kind of business. Not sure what that noise is. If you hear something in the background, um, in any business, what a lot of people do is they make these goals, and even in life and fitness and things like that. And specifically, I'm going to talk to you about business. Is like I'm in a sales company, that kind of thing. We we have promotions, we have rankings, and things like that. And what what happens is, is you uh, most people they start making goals. Uh, to hit certain ranks. They have a goal to sign up a certain amount of people. They have a goal to sign up a certain amount of customers. And what I what I learned, and this is from a book that I read recently, that I think this book is, it could be one of my favorite books that really changed my life and the way I operated. And it and, it, and the results spoke, speak for themselves because over the last uh, eight to 10 years that I've applied these things, it's, it's always worked, okay? So I'm not giving you anything that I haven't t- tried and tested. Uh, the book is called Influencer. It's kind of got a white cover, green lettering, Influencer. Uh, it's written by some psychologists, but what and it's the and the kind of subtitle is the power to how to, the power to change anything. Okay, so based on the topic that I just said of you know why you're not hitting your goals and what to do about it is most people what they do is they they set outcome goals is what we would call them. Okay, we we set they set outcome goals such as I want to hit this rank, I want to recruit this many people, I want to get this many customers, I want to make this many sales, that kind of thing. But what they have found is that the most successful people, like the you know what separates the amateurs from the professionals is that the professionals focus on behaviors, okay? And let me dive into this and and I did a training on this yesterday. I'll probably post it uh, on my YouTube channel, you can probably find it somewhere with uh, Sam. I did an interview with a guy. We had about 140 people, 130 people on the on the thing. But what it is is you have to identify if you want to change something or you want to get a better result. Uh, a lot of times you have you have to identify the behaviors, or I would call them almost core tasks that get you to that outcome. And then you have to learn how to be very proficient and professional in those behaviors. That's a, there's a huge difference. And what I'm saying, if you catch this, I'm telling you, it will change your whole business career. Okay. So as an example, I'm going to give you some examples. I learned, so I used to make goals of, hey, I want to uh, recruit in my networking company, you know, 30 personals, right? And I want to do it in uh, 90 days. And I would write that goal, and then I would kind of squirm around. I would do a few things. I would do these things, and then I wouldn't hit the goal. And then I, you know, I might put four or five people in just out of sheer ignorance. And then I would, and then I feel bad about not having better results. And then when I got the revelation, you know, the epiphany moment of focusing on the behaviors, I then learned to not focus on the outcomes because I couldn't control those. The problem is, is most people are focused on the outcome as far as uh, you don't succeed. You know, I didn't sign anybody up today. I didn't get a customer today, which is not where the success lies. The success lies in kind of what you would call uh, the grind. And the grind is identifying the behavior. So from a recruiting standpoint and, and me being in networking, I identified that the thing that I had to get the most proficient in and become a professional in was introducing people Uh, to something to watch that was it like in a nutshell people always think that there's some fancy formula okay like I've literally uh, I've now personally enrolled in my company in in about 11 months 280 personals directs and it's not that I do anything super different than anybody else out there as I've learned that it's just a numbers game I focus only on what I can control not what I can't control I say less to more people, but the most important thing is I I have identified that the behavior 
that accomplishes goals like that, accomplishes things like that, is is um, learning how to introduce my business to somebody. All I did is I learned how to text somebody uh, a, a, a recorded message or, or a, a short a short YouTube video. And I kid you not, that's the that is the major difference. Like professional, uh, like a professional um, basketball player, right? A professional basketball player, in a lot of cases, the the amateur will um, write goals like the team, the prof you know, the, the amateurs on the team will write goals of uh, winning, winning five games this year, right? But the professional will write a goal of after practice. I'm going to do free throws until I am the behavior of me hitting 10 baskets in a row or, or 50 free throws in a row is the behavior I want because you'll always get fouled. You'll always go to the line and it's, and it's your, you win from the behaviors, which are the small things that people don't focus on. Like when you, you know, I want to bench, uh, 400 pounds. You can't go in 400 pound bench is an outcome, right? I don't want to do that now because I've done it before back when I was maybe 15 years younger and I actually could do that. Now I couldn't even come close. But 400 pounds is my goal. So to get there, the behavior had to be eating eating good, consistently bench pressing, you know, 200 pounds and then 205 and then 250 and then 300 and then 350, that kind of thing. And so the biggest difference is that I see of between the professionals and my my groups, my teams, my companies, are really that they have become masters at the very very beginning of the of the of the journey for somebody of the behavior of introducing somebody to the opportunity, introducing somebody to a simple tool, and I think that's the that's the biggest thing. Uh, I didn't want to take a ton of time on here, but. The reason most people, like I said, are not hitting their goals is they're focusing on outcome goals, which are what they call in marketing lag indicators, where all the money and all of the effort that you should put in is in the lead indicators, most importantly called the behaviors. Find out what is what's the one behavior that you can do. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do an extensive training on this where I go into more detail when I'm at home and I got all my, I have notes all over the place about this. And it's really, really powerful. The one thing too is, is in like networking, what I do, I can, I, I know what the actual behavior is that makes someone money. It's not signing someone up. It's not enrolling someone. The behavior starts is the introduction. And if you can get somebody good at the introduction to where they become proficient, unconsciously competent in it, the outcome happens. That's, that's the, that's the key. I kid you not. Uh, 100% on that because it's worked every single time I've done that. So anyhow, thanks for jumping on here. I wanted to do something kind of short, consistent, get it on here. This is on my YouTube channel probably here in a little bit as well as my Facebook. And if you got comments or anything, feel free to put them on there. Like, subscribe, wherever you're at on here watching them. But thanks again for being on here. Appreciate it. Thank you for the comments. Um, nope, not going for that 400 again. I, I did something to my chest years ago. Won't happen. Promise. Never happening again. So anyhow, thanks guys. I'll see you. Uh, see you on the other side.